Everyone remembers the cute little story we used to tell with our hand about Buggy. It went something like this. This is Buggy. Buggy says, hi. This is Buggy. When a car goes by. And he died. Now this left me with questions. Questions like, what kind of car was it that hit Buggy? I mean, it could literally be anything. Look at all those cars. Was it an F-250? Ferrari? The iCarly car? Volkswagen van? And I mean, what kind of bug was Buggy anyway? He could be anything. He could be a butterfly, cranefly, deerfly, dragonfly, housefly, horsefly, robberfly, ladybug, or this thing. Now this thing is cool. This looks like a Pokemon. It's like a mix between an Encada and a Venomoth. I mean, seriously, look at that. That is exactly spot on. However, after extensive research on the origin of the buggy story and searching countless databases for information, I came to the conclusion that the car that hit Buggy was in fact a Bugatti, and Buggy was this guy right here. There was still at least one more question left in my middle school brain. How do we know at what force the car hit Buggy? Let's do some work. Uh, was that too fast for you? Alright, let's try it a little bit slower. Alright, now Buggy's mass was one thousandth of a kilogram, and his initial velocity was zero meters per second. The mass of the car was fifteen hundred kilograms, and its initial velocity was fifty-five meters per second. Now, according to Newton's third law, the force the car exerts on Buggy has to be equal to the same amount of force that the bug puts on the car. Now, who exactly is Sir Isaac Newton? He's an awesome, super smart scientist, that's who, and he came up with this really awesome law, which is called Newton's Third Law. That states, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, which explains situations like this. Furthermore, the amount of force exerted by Buggy on Bugatti has to be the same as Bugatti on Buggy. So if we know that force is equal to mass times acceleration, we can easily figure out this problem. Acceleration can also be described as the change of velocity over change of time expressed as delta v over delta t. In this case, it would be 55 meters per second minus 0 meters per second over the change of time. But we still don't know the change of time. In this situation, it's assumed to be equal to the dimension of the object over delta v. Now, the dimension of this object in this case is buggy, and he is 0 0.0013 meters long. And so if we put that equal to the delta t, we have 0 0.0013 meters over 55 meters per second. The meters cancel out and gives us 0 0.00023 seconds. So again, if we plug it into our original formula, f equals ma, it can also be expressed as force equals mass times change of velocity over change of time. When we plug in our numbers, we get that the force that the car exerted on buggy and buggy exerted on the car is 233 and 5 tenths newtons, resulting in buggy being squished.